at this point, two days ago, we don't talk about financial news on the Rich Eisen Show very often. Two days ago on the Dow Industrial, a stock selling in, uh, on the uh, Stock Exchange of New York City there. Yes. New York Stock Exchange. Just up the, um, just up the, uh, the street, if you will, just up the, the Amtrak rail from, uh, from where frozen concentrated orange juice was once sold on, this, on the floor. Okay. The New York City Stock Exchange. Madison Square Garden stock, at this point, two days ago, was selling it, God bless James Dolan, $270 a share. Correct. As we are talking right now, the stock right now is $313 a share and 79 cents. Don't forget the 79 cents. Why? Why has the stock exploded in the last two days? Because the board of Madison Square Garden has approved exploring a spinoff, splitting up parts of the Madison Square Garden um, conglomerate. In which the Knicks and Rangers would be separated from the entertainment aspects of the Madison Square Garden conglomerate. Meaning it makes the Knicks and Rangers easier to sell. And apparently Dolan, the Schmohawk <laughs> of all Schmohawks. Schmecky owner. My, the Schmecky owner who has written about how... His trust fund babiness has led to him owning teams. And, oh, how difficult it is to hear people scream at me to sell my teams. Because I'll turn around and see it to his face behind me. You suck! <laughs> Apparently, he wants to take his harmonica and go elsewhere and be a, a, a musician and get in the world of music where he can suck all he wants. And we're not affected by it. The we being Nick fans who watched Oakley get dragged out of the garden, whose greatest moment in the last two decades was what? Larry Johnson's four-point play? Or, yeah, I'd probably uh, say I'm trying to figure it out. That's up there. Uh, uh, Patrick guaranteed winning game seven. Carmelo taking him to the playoffs five years ago. So the stock is skyrocketing because skyrocketing. if all Dolan needs to see as evidence of how bad of an owner he is in sports is how much money he's made in the last two days based on the hint of him getting out of being an owner. All he's got to do is look at his bank account and see how terrible of an owner he is. All I'm saying to you is, James, get out now. Get out now. Do it. And it's not because we as Knicks fans hate you so much and so many celebrity fans who sit there courtside are afraid to say what I'm saying into a microphone right now. You suck. Get out. And you need to do it now because LeBron's available and you've got a coach whose phone call he will take. He will take David Fisdale's phone call. Get out now. Say you're out. Say you're out now. Sell it to the guy that you accused of being drunk who wasn't drunk. <laughs> sell it to any fan. Sell it, sell it right now. Put it in whatever receivership. I don't even know the business terms. Whatever it is, get out now. Say you're out now. So LeBron could say, oh, wait a minute. Maybe New York's an option for me. You will be loved forever. I will love you. This will be the greatest, greatest moment in the history of sports ownership saying, I realize how badly I suck. And I will bequeath to the fans who have been beholden to my suckiness. I will bequeath to them an opportunity to get LeBron here. You got 48 hours to sell, James. Look at your bottom line and see how much money you've made as proof of how bad you suck. And get out. Turn the suckiness into greatness. And you will forever be loved in New York. Get out now. Show, show LeBron that you're out. Have your coach that you wisely hired. I mean, what, talk about strokes of, of genius. You hired the right guy. And 
get out. Make your money. Oh, my God. I'm begging. How much money can you make spinning off the Knicks and the Rangers? Uh, billions, billions, four, four billion bucks. You could probably, I would say anywhere from two to four. Billion Holy crap. Dollars. Yeah, yeah. Make your money. Go play your gu- guitar and your harmonica with your schmecky hat. Get out, go and be loved. Here endeth the lesson. The Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.